Like, my mommy or Mrs. Honey f***er from the Sunday school, Kiki? <laughs> Downsize, upgrade. Downsize, hello Kiki. What are you doing here? Thinking about Michael Bay and the military entertainment complex. We got a letter, Kiki. Aha! Uh -huh. They say they want to invite us to a Web 2.0 business cocktail party, Boo Boo. Interesting. But why, Kiki? They say we are opinion leaders and we should meet other important people, Boo Boo. Like my mommy or Mrs. Honeyfucker from the Sunday school, Kiki? Well, Boo Boo, that might be. We should go, but you have to brief me about that, Kiki. Don't worry, these people just want to talk and exchange business cards, Boo Boo. They exchange business cards? And there will be some venture capitalists too. I thought that's only a fairy tale. No, Boo Boo, these people are real. And they think that the market is superior. More info, Kiki. Okay, Boo Boo. First of all, I don't believe in the market. Of course not. What is a market? Let's check Alta Vista for it. Aha! A market is a system to exchange goods and services, Boo Boo. Its most extreme form is called the free market. And that is a market in which prices of goods and services are arranged completely by the mutual consent of sellers and buyers. That sounds complicated, Kiki. No. No, the effect of these decisions en masse is described by the law of supply and demand, Boo Boo. Well, that seems quite fair, Kiki. But what is the problem? What did it do to you? Lots of bad things. But most of all, it's inefficient. If you observe the market, you can see evolution in action, Boo Boo. But that sounds awesome, Kiki. Evolution is a specific kind of trial and error process. It took a long time, billions of years, for natural selection to create complex and even thinking beings. But we all have short lifespans, and we have limited resources. A market is wasting time and energy, Boo Boo. Why, Kiki? A market may create complex patterns, Boo Boo, but after all, it is extremely dumb and not nifty at all. It is a raw, unrefined, vulgar, and nearly blind process. Companies and individuals are competing against each other to create better products and services. But in fact, they are only wasting finite resources by tapping in the dark. Who needs 300 companies battling over creating the best MP3 player? MP3 players give me goosebumps. <laughs> Take the car industry. The cars look all the same anyway. The market would be a morally acceptable system of managing resources. But the main problem is that it also treats living thinking creatures purely as resources, Boo Boo. So, the market is not only wasting stuff, but all our friends, Kiki? Yes. The market economy can't and won't distinguish between beings and matter. I commiserate, Kiki. For the market, there is no difference between you and wool. And look what they did to Baltimore and its inhabitants, Boo Boo. Someone has to stop it, Kiki. Calm down, Boo Boo. There are already various things happening to somehow protect the beings from starving. Many free market economists, of course, hate that. They say it weakens and destroys the greatest benefit of the free market. Economic efficacy. Oh, so being effective means to make people starve, Kiki? I don't know what that means, effective, but I think I don't like it. Yes, Boo Boo. The market is an uncontrolled force bursting and spitting in all directions it can. Personally, I think that a planned economy could be more productive than an economy left to the market. And it is more ethically desirable. What 
does that mean, Kiki? The market is very mechanistic process, Boo Boo. It does not know moral, philosophical, or political values. But we can think, and we are capable of planning. Wow. Intelligent beings are not cells who cannot decide what they want to do and that are just waiting for the next cosmic ray that forces the cell to mutate. Here is a graphical demonstration. Intelligent beings have the capability to think about long-term goals. A very important part of a new form of planned economy is continual participation of all citizens. It's more like a big open source project that does not try to create a new kind of program, but a system for providing goods and benefits. The command economies of the past were only projects of bureaucratic collectivism and failed to involve and strengthen all creatures. Also sock puppets, Kiki? Yes, especially sock puppets, Boo Boo. So, do you still want to go to that meeting, Kiki? Yes, but I think I will just drink tap water, Boo Boo. Let's take the monorail, Kiki.